Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back for another video on my Discharge League Starter. Now some of you have been following this build, maybe even playing this build, and uh, there's been uh, a few things that have been happening uh, with this build. Right before I get into the build, let me just update you on myself and how content's going at the moment. Um, I'm feeling quite sick at the moment, I have quite a sore throat, so I haven't been streaming the past couple of days, which is a little bit annoying on League Start. Also meaning we haven't really been able to get much currency to really improve this build. So take that into account with what I talk about here. But that being said, we have been able to grind a fair amount. At the moment, we're two Conquerors away from our first Cirrus fight, so Awaken a level 5 Cirrus. But up to this point, uh, around the tier 12 to tier 15 maps, this build has started to feel a lot weaker. Now, there's a few reasons for that. First of all, the defenses, as you can see here, we only have 4,300 health, and there's not many other layers of defenses other than having your acro, phase acro, and elusive from uh, from your ascendancy point here, Mist Walker. Uh, but the big kicker for the Discharge build is something that I didn't fully take into account. Now, usually on any sort of Lightning build, you probably are going to be attacking fairly quickly, or you're going to be doing Archmage, which is one big hit. Now, the big thing with Archmage is it doesn't have a variable roll. It has a flat, just damage roll that it gets added on. For any sort of base lightning skill, they actually have a very big variable lightning damage. So say for example, Discharge here deals 394 to 1422 base damage. Now, if we actually just bring up a calculator right here and we have a look at this. So if we have nine power charges, 394 times nine, our base damage uh, that we could do is only 3,500 damage as uh, initial hit on discharge. That's only once every two seconds. That's not, you know, that's not uh, per cast like something like Arc or something like that would do. That's really low damage. What this uh, ends up happening in maps and everything like that is once you're on a boss, if you get a really low roll on, the, on your lightning damage, you can have Val RF up, you can have all your buffs up, and you can do literally no damage, which uh, really, really feels quite terrible and can put you in a bit of a sticky situation as well. Uh, even when clearing the zones and everything like that. Um, it is uh, it is a little bit tough. I'll show you some gameplay. It still clears relatively fine, but I think we're going to re-roll soon just because I don't have the currency to really invest in making this build a lot stronger. Do I think this build can be very strong? Yes, I think this build has the potential to one-shot every boss in the game with obviously getting a good roll. Say, for example, if we, if we get a really good roll, that is uh, 1,422 times 9. Uh, oh! No, we did not fully clear that. Let's try that again. Uh, 22 times 9. That's 12,000 damage. So the variance there is about 9,000 damage of variance, which is crazy. That is so much variance. Uh, over 9,000, actually. Uh, so that's why this build uh, feels the way it does. Just now, um, I will jump into a map here for you. We're going to do a tier 9 Coral Ruins map, just so you can see the build in action. Uh, if you're also playing along with this build, uh, it's still going to be able to carry you to Cirrus. As you can see here, like I'm able to kill all of these Conquerors up to Cirrus, and I can do the Cirrus fight as well, but it is a little bit squishy. So I want to re-roll into something a little bit tankier. But I'll talk about that right after we finish this map here. So as you may have known, the gameplay is basically you just jump in. You can even clear a little bit just with your, uh, your uh, Storm Brand, but then you discharge on the packs as well uh, to just like big boom them right there. Heck yeah. Alright, and let's blow that one up there as well. So we'll get to the boss and we'll see if we can, uh, if I can show you what it feels like uh, getting a low roll. Uh, so let's uh, let's keep jumping through here, shall we? Let's keep jumping through here. Uh, now, our discharge is a level 20 right now as well. It just leveled up. So uh, yes, there we go as well. And yes, we are running second wind at the moment. So we can actually do like a double uh, explode, which is kind of nice, but I will swap to hypothermia on the boss uh, once we do get to them, so we do have a little bit of damage there. All right, we won't fully bother with that abyss there. They're still a little bit bugged, I think, so we will move on, uh, and we'll just clear that. Just clear that as well, and we're coming up to the boss here, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna swap hypothermia back in for second wind and gain our power charges up, and we're going to jump through here. We'll turn on via 
Vile RF. And as you can see there, I actually did get a really low roll, and it didn't do much damage to the boss at all. Now he does have some regen here as well, so you can see we're getting a bad hit looks like. That one was a really good hit, as you can see that one. And then that one was a really good hit there as well. So it does a lot of damage like that. But if you get a bad hit, it feels really bad like those first couple of ones. So I rolled a couple of bad rolls to begin with, then a couple of good rolls. So it just means it feels very inconsistent. Um, which is not exactly what I wanted from this build. I wanted one big pop to just kill all the bosses which was working early maps because I just had way too much damage. But then, without really being able to invest too much into increasing the damage on this build, without getting crazy cluster jewels or without getting void batteries or something like that, it's still going to feel like this through the whole time. That's pretty much it with this build. So for those following along, sorry to uh, kind of dump this, oh, it's not feeling as good on you. Uh, that being said, keep pushing for it. If you have the currency, you can definitely invest a lot more into it than I have and actually make it really, really strong. Uh, the build that I'm going to be playing next, I think is going to be an Agnostic Miner. So Mind Over Matter Miner using Agnostic and Perma using RF and using Blazing Salvo as the mines as well. I think that's going to be really, really strong, a lot more defensive, and it's going to be pretty nice in heists as well. That is uh, pretty much it. That's, that's all I should really say with everything that I'm doing there. Um, if you like this kind of content, if you want to see more of this and see the update to the new build coming out, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell. You're not going to get notified unless you hit that little bell down there as well. So definitely do that. And until next time, Badger, out.